You know what all this craziness going on here with? We might as well just have fun, right? Hit it. Okay, so you want me to show you how to put the Sony Imaging Edge desktop on your laptop, MacBook, or desktop computer, huh? Well, the first thing is to find the link in my description, and it'll take you to the Sony website where you can download the Windows or Mac version. It's a small DMG file that downloads faster than you can get the coronavirus. Can you believe that? So double click on the DMG file to extract the package. Once you've done that, click open the package to begin, enter your administrative password, and then you're going to have to start agreeing to all of the pop-up windows that are going to be appearing shortly. Might drive you crazy. Drove me nuts. Can you see? I don't have any hair on my head right now. Pulled everything out. All right. So my question is, does anybody ever actually read these agreements? Listen, I've been doing this a long time and I've never read these agreements. My primary concern is just to get this thing downloaded into my computer. You know what I mean? And after all that time, guess what? It's finally officially installing into my computer. Can you believe that? Now that's funny. Thanks a lot, Sony. So now let's go ahead and set up your camera. I'm using my A6400. Go to the settings tab at the very top menu and scroll and move to the page number to find USB connections. Now you notice mine is all grayed out, right? And I can't change it from mass storage to anything else. Well, I'll tell you why that is. Move over to your networks tab and from there, you're gonna wanna go to control with smartphone. Once you're at control with smartphone, notice mine's on, right? Well, if you're trying to set up your camera to tether or connect to your computer software, well, guess what? You're gonna need to turn that function off. You see, because control to smartphone will disengage and override the settings that you have in your USB connections. Now go back to your little toolbox icon at the very top and scroll down to USB settings and you'll see now I can change from mass storage to PC remote, which in turn allows your computer to control your camera. And now your last and final step is that you just need to get a USB cable to connect from your camera to your computer. You see, getting this was a lot better than getting that virus, right? Oh, and there's one more thing you need to do. Shut down and restart everything right now. Okay, so we'll back up. Now open the application that you previously installed. Notice as the window appears that you'll see that there are several options for remote, viewer, or edit. And then on the left hand side you'll see home, notifications, and settings. Well, well for now, let's just click on the start button under remote just to see if the camera can connect to our system. And there it is, my A6400. Now, if you don't see your camera settings, you can always go to refresh at the very bottom, click that, and it will pull up a list of all the cameras that are connected to your system. Yes, you can have more than one. And you just select the one that you want. And if you can be patient just for a few seconds, the software will connect to the camera that you have selected. And who was it that said that we will never be defeated? Victorious. That was Mike Sykes, right? Connection has been established. And now I can go back and do what I told you I was gonna do in the beginning have fun, right? So really on the initial overview, it seems to be pretty intuitive. I haven't had a chance to really fully check it out yet, but you already know I'm gonna have another video on this one, so you better stay tuned, keep watching, and subscribe to my channel. So you can see on the initial video test that there's a latency or lag, and that might be because of your CPU, your RAM, or even your settings or your specifications. I really like the way their interface looks and it looks really professional and friendly and by the way, if you like what I'm doing, then go ahead and hit that like button at the very bottom, okay? Well that's about all I have for the basic setup of this thing. I'm going to have some more details shortly in some other videos, but uh, so far, hey, living large, alright? Have fun with this thing, okay? You guys don't forget to subscribe and uh, love it. <laughs> hey y'all, thank you for allowing me to do this to you again, I had so much fun doing this video. Listen, you know, this is what it's all about, you know what I'm saying? We got enough problems out there getting stressed out and everything. Stress will kill you, make you weak. You won't be able to fight that virus. Hey, we gotta laugh, we gotta be happy, okay? That's why I'm doing this video for you. It's not just about this remote desktop app. It's about showing you guys out here, we got something going on here, okay? We live every day. We laugh beyond words. Look at that guy over there. And learn. Peace. See you guys on the next one.